a very good morning students today we are going to start new lesson of grammar that is lesson number 6 verbs so students here you can see that first is what is a verb let's start with the definition of a verb so here what it is given a verb is a word which describes the action in a sentence what is a verb the word which describes the action in a sentence that is the word that is doing something like words which shows actions that is called verbs now the word that is doing something it means whatever you are doing like you are playing or you are eating like that if you are showing your action that is verb so examples here is given first example here given is i play football here what is a verb play why play is a verb according to the definition what we have learned that a verb is a word which shows actions okay so here actions a word that is showing action is a play so you are playing it means that is a verb that is verb now second example they skip quickly here what is a verb skip third is we eat spaghetti here eat is a verb then last one bob is seven today bob is seven today here is is a verb now students let's move further here you can see one image now this shows that verbs change form according to the time of action according to the time of action it means here you can show, see the clock the clock is used for watch the time we can see the time from there now verbs change form according to the time of action so here it is divided in three categories that is past future sorry past that is the first one second is present and third is future so here you can see p here indicate present and here if you will move to the left side that shows past and if you will move to the right side of present that will show future it means students present if we are talking about it means the action which we are doing recently means in a future in present okay that is going on with us now past if we will move to the left side if we will move to the left side that will show the past action it means that we have already done in the past the things which we have already done now future it means if we will move to the right of this p that is present future that will show the future action it means the things that we are going to do that is future so this is over now see in the next one that is forms of verb here we are going to learn about the forms of verb that is five forms first you will see base form that is first form of verb that is also called first form of verb okay base form it means first form of verb past form it shows the second form of verb here students this is past participle past participle it means it shows third form of verb here v1 first form v2 is the second form v3 is the third form s and e s form it means v with verb we have to add s or es according to the word now ing form it means with verb we have to add what ing 
Now after this C1 example here is given two words have been taken over here that is play and go. First V1 that is base form if we are talking about that play will be play. We are starting that is first form of verb. Now second is past that is V2. V2 is the past one past form. So we have add we have to add ED with that. For completing this sentence means any sentence that is V2 for second form of verb. So for that we will use played and in third form of verb that is also past participle we have to use played that is P-L-A-Y-E-D both will be same over here according to the word. Now third one here you can see sorry not third one that is fourth one. S and ES form as I said that with verb we have to use S or ES. So here you can see for play we have added S here and last one is that is ING form we have to add ING with any verb. So verb here we have taken play so with that play we will add ING. Now the next is go base form of verb that is go and then past is went that is second form of verb is went and then v3 that is third form of verb gone and then v s or es we have to add here we have added s and but here for go we will add verb with that es and the last one is ing so with v g o g o and with that i n g that will become going so here we have learned forms of verbs that is five forms base past past participle s e s form and i n g form after the students we have tense here Okay, verbs change form according to the time of action. So, we have learned three forms that is present, past and future. So, here tense that is divided into three categories. So, first is past. First is past, then present and future. So, each tense that is past tense and present tense and future tense these three tense is again divided into four categories that is in past simple tense continuous tense future tense perfect continuous tense i want to show you in the next one that is your tense we have first present tense then past tense and then future tense and these Three tenses are divided into each sentence are divided into four categories as you can see over here. First present tense. In present tense first you can see is simple present tense. Second is present continuous tense. Third is present perfect and fourth is present perfect continuous tense. Likewise we have in past tense also that is simple past tense, past continuous tense, past perfect and last one that is fourth one past perfect continues and third tense that is future tense again it is divided into four categories and that is simple future future continues future perfect and future perfect continues so these are the tense now proceeding to the next one and that is tense rules and this is very important students you have to learn this by heart don't forget about this rule because based on these rule we are going to do the exercises and also you can use this in your daily life while using while talking in English it is very much important so let's start with the first one that is present tense we have learned about present tense, past and future. So, first is present tense. Present tense in first simple forms. That is, 
द सिंपल प्रेजेंटेंस वी यूज सिंपल प्रेजेंटेंस वेन वी यूज दिस सिंपल प्रेजेंटेंस टू शो आवर रेगुलर एक्शंस ओके टू शो आवर हैबिट्स स्टेट जनरल ट्रूथ और फैक्ट्स वेन वी यूज द सिंपल टेंस फॉर्म्स वी मस्ट मेक श्योर दैट द सब्जेक्ट एंड द वर्ब मैच वी विल डू दिस इन बुक एक्सरसाइज बट फर्स्ट सी दिस रूल वॉट इट इज गिवेन If we want to make a sentence by using the simple present tense then we will use first form here student first form given it means you have to use first form of verb and with that first form of verb use s and es okay so here present simple tense we will use like that it means first form of verb that is v1 we have subject plus first form of verb and with that verb we will add s or es and at the end object so this will be a pattern for creating sentence so after simple forms we have second that is progressive okay for here we will use present okay so here we have am is or are and with that we have first form and with that first form of verb here first form is given that indicate v1 what it indicate v1 so with that we will use am is are plus first form and ing here students progressive it means sorry progressive it means what progressive means continuous we are talking about continuous if we are saying progressive form okay so in present continuous tense we will use am is are with that v1 v1 means first form of verb and with that verb we have to add ing then third one let's come to the third one that is present perfect tense here this shows present perfect tense and with that what we will use subject we will be here subject and object at the end now here we will use in present perfect tense have or has here you can see have or ha has and third form of verb what you have to use third form of verb that is v3 then the last one is present perfect progressive form that is present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense here we have have has been now here we have to use have been or has been and with that first form of verb plus ing like here we used have has plus v3 here we will use first form and with that ing as in perfect sorry in any continuous tense like uh, where whether it is present continuous tense or past continuous tense or present perfect continuous tense everywhere students remember this that you have to use ing with verb for continuous tense if you are doing your work continuously you have to add ing with that so after completing this present tense we have past tense here in second one first we have done that is present and in past we have first simple past tense and for simple past tense we will use second form of verb simply we have to use second form of verb like here what in present tense we were using in simple present tense we are using s and es but here simply we will use second form like we have seen in our previous picture that i have taken one example of play in past tense play will change to played so like this this will become in second form after this second form we have 
which one this progressive form progressive means past continuous tense in past continuous tense for making a sentence you have to use was were and with that plus first form and ing it means was were plus first form of verb first form for v1 and with that ing then proceed to the next that is past perfect tense for past perfect tense we have had we will use had with third form is given it means v3 we will use v3 in past perfect tense okay had plus third form and now we have the last one that is third one in past tense that is past perfect continuous tense in past perfect continuous tense first one we have had been plus first form we will use first form and with that ing so had been plus first form that is v1 plus ing now students after completing this we have the future tense and that is future simple forms future simple forms is this we will use in future simple future tense we will use will shall and first form first form that is v1 means we can use will or shall and with that we have to use first form of verb here rules are given students it means you have to follow these rules while you are making a sentence like if you are making simple future tense so you have to use will shall if you if you will use if you will not use this then then that will be wrong if in future tense if you are not using this second is future continuous tense in future continuous tense you will use will be and will be with that will be you can use first form of verb and obviously in continuous tense you have to use ing whether it is future perfect continuous tense or future continuous tense ing must be there with the verb then come to the third one that is perfect forms that is future perfect tense you will use will have plus third form third form means v3 okay with third form it shows v3 then fourth one that is will have been fourth one is future perfect continuous tense so in future perfect continuous tense for making a sentence you have to use will have been and plus first form that is v1 and with that any verb you have to use ing now after this students we have one example of each tense means that is present past and future we have gone through and the rules according to this let's see the example we know this past present and future so after this we have one one example we have gone through just now that is past simple present simple future simple that is four tense perfect past continuous and perfect continuous so according to the rules we have over here that is the first one past in past tense i studied english in past tense what we have i studied english we have seen the rules according to that we have over here i studied english we have used second form of verb then we have simple present tense simply we are using this an example that is i study english then will if we are using it means it shows the future action that is i will study english and then for past perfect i had studied english i had studied english then in present perfect i have studied english and in future perfect i will have studied english i will have studied english in past continuous tense i was studying english as you know that in continuous you have to use ing whether it is 
past, present or future. So, in past tense, we have I was studying English. I am studying English in present continuous tense. Am, is, are we have to use according to the sentence. We have to use that. So, I was studying English in past tense. I am studying English and I will be studying English. This will be in future continuous tense. Now, in the last one that is past perfect continuous, we have used I had been studying English. With had, we have to use been, had been and first form of verb and with that ing. Then, after this, we have present perfect continuous that is I have been studying English. I have been studying English. You can see here we are using in past tense, we are using had. And in present, we are using have. And with have been, same. That is first form of verb. And with that, we are using ing. And then the last one is future perfect continuous. And with that, by using the rules, we have this, the last one. That is I will have been studying English. Now here students today I have explained you the rules and all and if you are having any doubt you can call me and clarify your doubt through the whatsapp number also you have. Okay. So students today here we have completed the explanation of this verbs lesson number 6 and tomorrow I will explain the exercise of this verbs that is the present tense. Together, I'll explain that. That is the present tense, past, past tense and future one. Thank you, students.